Well, thanks for being here on a, another beautiful Houston day, and uh, it is. It's uh, to my nice uh, array of people here behind me. We're going to get to hear from each one of them here in a moment, but uh, um, this is a, a good reflection of uh, individuals that know how to get things done in Austin, Texas, and um, Vicki, I want to say thanks to you and the uh, Houston Association of Realtors for uh, allowing us to use this facility today and, and uh, for hosting us. And um, I'm really proud that uh, those of you in the uh, uh, private property rights business, if you will, uh, have come here today and, and uh, to join us as we put some pen to paper and, and uh, we continue to protect the rights of property owners in this state um, and particularly on the syndrome that uh, we've been not only identifying but uh, trying to get a handle on over the course of the years called appraisal creep. Yeah, you might recall back uh, um, in 2006 we had a major property tax cut, um, about a 15.5 billion dollar cut across the state for property owners. And we've seen a substantial amount of that whittled away um, by local authorities that were raising these appraisals uh, without any restraint. Um, so as the legislative session began, I called on members of the House and Senate to continue our efforts to reform our appraisal system. I happen to think it's unfair uh, for Texans to get <coughs> stuck with higher and higher uh, taxes as these local appraisals uh, answer tax cuts that these individuals very courageously put into place <laughs> their answer has been by raising taxes through the appraisal process um, it basically it equates to a very high <coughs> stake shell game uh, our concern is driven by the fact that property taxes are just not an economic issue singularly, they directly affect the essential Texas value of property ownership and the in individual rights that, that go along with that. Uh, that's why we continuously work to improve our property tax system, placing our faith in the proven tools of greater transparency, uh, increased accountability, and tight reins on government growth at every level. In, in times of global economic turmoil, it is more important than ever for us to protect working families from an undue property tax burden. Uh, I happen to believe that these bills will improve those vital protections by setting a more uniform uh, standard for appraisals uh, and slowing their steady increase. Uh, all across the state. Uh, House Bill 8 attempts to slow this pressure in, in a pretty simple way. Uh, it doubles the time uh, between property value studies. Um, these central appraisal districts have typically conducted them on a yearly basis. This bill gives the comptroller uh, oversight uh, of the central appraisal districts, including a biannual review of appraisal standards which should move us to a more standardized uh, statewide approach. Now, House Bill 3613 also improves standardization by requiring the appraised value of a house to reflect only its value as a house, as a home, not as some other use such as a commercial venture. This bill strengthens our support for Texas veterans as well. Um, as a uh, veteran, it is always heartening for me to um, see individuals who have given more than just their service. They've given their lives. And what I mean by that is individuals who have been um, disabled, 100% disabled uh, veterans in this piece of legislation or granted a homestead exemption of 100%. Um, <laughs> it's 
a very strong message. The Texans love their veterans. They respect the veterans, particularly those who uh, have been impacted in a, in, a, in a powerful way. And it provides them a degree of uh, protection, uh, particularly for those that are living on fixed incomes. Um, and this, you know, some would say this is a small way, but I say this is a powerful message to our men and women in uniform who have uh, been disabled, uh, whose lives have been changed forever. And uh, they were defending our freedom. And uh, this is a great way for the realtors and the state to say uh, thank you to them.